I've tried on the plus side of 50 keyword research tools and they all have their pros and cons. But now I think I've found the best free keyword research tool I've ever tried. You can use it to find keywords on Google, YouTube, and even Bing and many more search engines. And the tool is Keyword Tool. So let's dive in and test it. For me, the most important thing with the keyword research tool is that I want to find golden ratio keywords. And this I often find with long tail keywords. And this is exactly what I've done with Keyword Tool. Because often when I use a keyword research tool, and I've used a lot, then they use the same database. So you get the same keywords, but with a slight difference because they're trying to add their own keywords. But Keyword Tool is completely different here. And you will also see that if you have an established website with a high domain rating, then you don't need to go after the low competition keywords. Then you can go after whatever keyword you want, as long as you build a content silo. But I don't have a high domain rating. So I have to go after long tail keywords with low competition, but hopefully a high search volume. This combination is the best combination. That's what I call the golden ratio keywords. That's what I'm pursuing when I use keyword research tools. But keyword tool allows you to run a keyword research entirely free through 11 search engines. It's super incredible. You simply just enter your seed keyword and then you get a ton of keywords back and you can continue to open more keywords. I tried to run WordPress as my keyword and I got more than 600 keywords just through Google. So this is super impressive and a lot of them are long tail keywords. And the thing I really like here, which is a small feature, when I enter a keyword in Google and then I change the tab to YouTube, then it continues to search for my keyword so I don't have to enter it again. It's a small thing, but it makes it super convenient to use keyword tool. And then of course, again with YouTube, I just get a bunch of ideas. And primarily based on my testing, I found that Google, Bing and YouTube is where you get the most results. And it makes sense because those are some of the biggest search engines out there. When you start to search for Instagram and Twitter, then it's more hashtags you're looking for. And usually then you get data on the first five keywords. And from there you have to upgrade if you want to see full data set. But you can also just take the keywords and put into another keyword research tool that you're already paying for. That's entirely up to you. But of course, without the pro version, sometimes it can be difficult to figure out what keywords has the high search volume that I'm looking for but a low competition. And I think with your knowledge in your industry, often you will know what people are searching for and what they're not searching for. So based on that knowledge and maybe another keyword research tool, if you don't want to upgrade to the pro plan, then you can find the keywords that you can write content for and hopefully rank for as well. And when you search for keywords in Google and Bing and these major search engines, and you also get questions and you get prepositions as well. And the questions module is super interesting because I've often written article answering a specific question and has been ranking very well on that. And that's often how I like to write my content because it's so much easier answering a specific question where you know the intent than finding a keyword which is maybe high level and you're not sure what direction to take it in. So I often start with the questions and then I move over to the high level keywords. And I will recommend that you do the same. And it's super easy to look through the questions as well and based on your industry knowledge to figure out what questions do people search more for and what questions does people maybe not search that much for that it's worth writing content for. I did try to search for my keyword through Instagram and Twitter as well. And even though hashtags are not that important anymore, you do still get some ideas of what you can use. But in the end, it is still your content that will be used to make it go viral, hopefully. So ensure that your content is targeted towards the keyword and at least is mentioning the keyword that you're trying to write content for because the hashtags are very secondary today. Now they do also have a Google Trends integration and this is super interesting because if you have used Google Trends, then you know that you can only search for one keyword at a time and then it shows related topics sometimes if your keyword is popular. But with Keyword Tool, then you can run for your keyword and then you can get reports on all the related keywords at the same time in a table. So you can see what is trending and what is not trending. And I think this is such an incredible overview. It's so easy for me to see what keywords should I pursue. And often with Google Trends, it's very high level keywords. So I would run your seed keyword through, take the high level keywords and then run through keyword tool again to get more related keywords surrounding that topic and then build around that topic to achieve topical authority. It is a super interesting technique to use. 
especially because through Google Trends, I've often found searches I would never even think about. And the fact that this entire keyword research module from Keywords Tool is entirely free to use, I think it's just incredible. It's unbelievable that you get so many keywords entirely free. And it's not just the database that all the other different keyword research tools are using. It is their own data sets. And that's what makes it even more valuable to use Keyword Tool as your primary keyword research tool. And then of course, if you like using it, then you can always upgrade to get more data points or you can simply still use it for free. So with that said, it is definitely the best free keyword research tool I've ever used because often then you are limited to 50 keywords, sometimes even 10 keywords, but here you get a ton of keywords. I do know that if you upgrade to the pro plan, you get double the amount of keywords that you're getting right now. But the fact that we're still getting hundreds of keywords based on the C keyword, that makes me think that this is definitely worth using. It has overall really surprised me how much data you get from running a simple keyword research. And the thing about keyword tool is that it's not only a normal keyword research tool, because you can also run for Pinterest, you can run it for YouTube, you can run it for Instagram, Twitter, and so on. So it is not comparable 100% to other keyword research tools, because you have the possibility to run a keyword research for 11 different search engines and get the results and then work for your content. And this is interesting because often when we write a piece of content, we want to be able to split that content into multiple different channels. So if I write a blog post, I want to be able to tweet maybe three, five times of it. I want to make a LinkedIn post. I want to put it on Pinterest and so on. So the fact that we can repurpose our content and use keyword tool to find the right keywords, I think is just incredible. But if you want to upgrade, then it starts at 89 US dollars. And to some that might sound steep, but we have to remember that this is more than just a keyword research tool for Google. You get 11 different search engines and that's why the price is as what it is. But again, you can also just continue to use it for free because you do still get a lot of value. So if you're writing content, creating videos, or even working with social media, then Keyword Tool is the perfect keyword research tool for you because you can run a keyword research in so many different search engines and then create content for the right keyword with enough search volume that it makes sense for you. But I want to give Keyword Tool four stars. It has really surprised me and it is an incredible keyword research tool, but I hope that they will add some forums like Quora and Reddit and even TikTok as well so we can get this complete circle of all the search engines then it will be such an interesting keyword research tool. And if they can continue to keep it free, then I think it's just mind blowing how much value that you get. But if you want to see a review of the keyword research tool that I'm using at the moment, which is using Google Auto Suggest to find highly relevant keywords with low competition, but high search volume, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.